Uh, past paper uh, questions on probability trees. Uh, question number one. Uh, first of all, <coughs> uh, it's a classic probability tree. You're going to get used to seeing these. Um, right, read the question. There's seven pens in a box, two, uh, five are blue and two are red. Uh, Emma takes a pen from the box, write down its colour, then she puts the back in, uh, puts it back in the box. I've underlined that because it's quite important. And she takes a second pen, right? Complete the probability uh, diagram. Well, the probability to get the blue one is five out of seven, and the red is two out of seven. And because she puts it back in, that is the same all the way down here. So keep that, keep those uh, consistent. Uh, work out the probability that Emma takes exactly one pen of each colour. So to do that, you'd have to take a blue one, then a red one, or a red one, then a blue one. So here, what I've done, I've, you multiply across, so it's 5 sevenths times 2 sevenths and 2 tenths times 5 sevenths. They're both 10 over 49. You add them together, it is 20 over 49, and that's your answer. Uh, question number two. In a game of chess, a player can win, lose, or draw. Um, you've got to fill this in to start with. Um, that's 0 0.5, 0 0.3. Well, it's got to be 0 0.2, because it must add up to 1. And again, um, you need to use those ones over here for the second game. Work out the probability that Vichy will win both games. So obviously that's a win followed by another win. So that's 0.5 times 0.5, which is 0.25. Or, if you don't like multiplying decimals, it's a half times a half, which is a quarter. Because 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4. So, um, but I gave the answer as a decimal. But, uh, anyway. uh, question number 3. Uh, Matthew puts 3 red counters and 5 blue counters in a bag. He takes a random counter from the bag. He puts, he writes down the colour of the counter. Uh, he puts the counter in the bag again. <coughs> So um, if it puts the counter back in, that's uh, quite handy for us. Fill out the rest of the table. Well, if it's three eighths, it's a red one. It's got to be five eighths, it's a blue one. Because um, there's three red and five blue ones in there. Work out the probability that Matthew takes two red counters. So you want to go uh, red, red. Three eighths times three eighths is nine over 64. And um, I don't think you can simplify that, so nine over 64. Uh, question number four. Uh, Tom and Sam each take a driving test. The probability Tom will pass is 0.8. So fill that in, it's 0.2. Sam is 0.6, that'd be 0.4. Work out the probability that both Tom and Sam will pass. So it's pass and pass. So it's 0.8 times 0.6. 0.8 times 0.6 is 0.48. Work out the probability that one of them will pass their driving test. Okay, if it's only one of them, that only one of them will pass their driving test. So it's a pass and a fail, or a fail and a pass. So I've worked them out here. Um, and you add downwards, so that's 0.44. Uh, there you go. Uh, next one, question number five. You've got to draw this yourself. There's three orange sweets, two red sweets, and five yellow sweets in a bag. Sarah takes a sweet at random, then she eats it. Then she takes another sweet at random. Work out the probability that the sweets are the same colour. Uh, the first lot here, there's three of them. So it's three out of ten, she takes an orange one, because we're told there's three. Two out of ten for a red one, and five out of ten for a yellow one. That bit there will get you one mark that you've done. The next bit is you need to complete it here. Now, we know she eats it, so all of these will be something out of nine. This one here, uh, there's only two orange ones left, because if you go along here, she's already eaten one orange one, so it's two out of nine, and these two stay the same. This one, the orange one, stays the same, it's three out of nine, but she's eaten a red one, so there's only one red one left, and so on and so forth downwards. Uh, work out the probability the sweets are the same colour. So you want orange and orange, which is three tenths times two ninths, which is that. Um, you want red and red, which is uh, two tenths times one ninth, which is that. And uh, yellow and yellow, which is that times that. Add up six ninetieths, two ninetieths, and twenty ninetieths, and you should get twenty-eight over ninety, and simplify that to fourteen over forty-five for four marks. Question six. Amy's going to play one game of snook and one game of billiards. Uh, complete the scores for her winning. You should be all right with that. Work out the probability that she wins exactly one game. So it's a win and a does not win, a does not win and a win, because it says she'll win exactly one game. So it's uh, six over 12, add one over 12 uh, is seven over 12. So that is your answer. Amy played uh, one game of snooker and one game of billiards on a number of Fridays. She won at both snooker and billiards on 21 Fridays. Work out an estimate Work out an estimate for the number of Fridays on which Amy did not win either game. Uh, the probability um, she won uh, both, as you go back to your tree, is three quarters times uh, a third, uh, which is a, a quarter. Uh, she, she, won a quarter, she won both a quarter of the time. So the total number of Fridays must be uh, 84, because um, you multiply that one by four. 
and the problem is she um, she lost both is a is a quarter times two thirds, which is uh, well, one over six. So a sixth of eighty four is fourteen. So that's how you uh, work that one out. Question number seven, last one here. Uh, Plum plays a game of tennis and a game of snooker. Fill in your things. Uh, work out the probability that he wins. Work out the probability that Simon wins both games. Uh, Simon win and a win, so it's three quarters times one third, which is three tenths, which is a quarter. And work out the probability that he'll win only one game. You want a win and a lose, or a lose and a win. Work them out here. Six twelfths add one twelfth is seven twelfths. And that is your questions on probability trees.